Jogjakarta is one of the most popular cities to visit in Indonesia. Located on Java Island, it's home to two world-famous UNESCO temples. It's also a city full of culture. Come with me as we explore the city center, from the gorgeous water palace to the famous Malioboro Street. And you cannot miss this city when it comes alive at night. Morning from Jogjakarta, aka Jogja. So this is supposed to be one of like the most popular places for tourists to visit in Indonesia. And a lot of people say it's their favorite place. So I'm super excited to explore today. So right now I'm on Malioboro Street, which at nighttime, it's supposed to be really crazy. Right now there's still cars and stuff and actually a lot of people because it's Saturday. But I'm gonna go the whole way down here and check out like the palace, a bunch of other stuff here. There's lots of art. And then I'll be back here at nighttime. Oh, and that too, it's just me today. Carlos will be back next video. But it's only an eight minute walk to the first place I'm going. So <laughs> I'm just gonna walk and look at all the sights. I've been acting like a wild man. Sleeping like a child. So luminous and vibrant I'm always in bloom for you Always in bloom Always in bloom for you This is crazy. I came out for a little yesterday on a weekday and it was not that busy. Now it's so busy. There's so many people on Saturday. There's a huge monument here from 1940s and all the buildings look so old. Here at the Titic Knoll, zero kilometer, right here. If you keep going straight, you will be at the palace. I guess I should cross here. I'm going to coffee here. Buka, I hope that's open. I don't know. I'm so hot out today, but this cafe is so cute. There's trees everywhere, it's so green. <laughs> Leaving the coffee shop. Now time for the real touristy places. I thought this was a man. It is not a man. I hope. <laughs> it could be one of those guys that just stand there actually, but... It's another photo shoot here. If Carlos was here, maybe we would dress up, but... I don't really want to dress up by myself. <laughs> Here's a scary guy coming over the door here. What is that? <sighs> so funny. <laughs> and here is the Northern Square, which directly on the opposite side of this is the palace. So busy. Ticket 25,000. And now I can go in. <laughs> I don't know how much information there is here. I heard like there's really not a lot. You can pay for a guide. I actually haven't seen any guides yet. But, fun fact Jogjakarta is the only place in Indonesia still ruled by a sultan, and he lives here in the palace. So that's why I guess you can't go inside, inside, because he actually lives there. But I'm gonna check out everything here. Yeah, I mean, all of this looks really cool, but I know nothing about it. Oh, oh, here it says some stuff, but it's only in Indonesian. I'm gonna go inside and see what's in here. Oh, thought there was a person. <laughs> oh, it's nice on this part. There's a girl at the door here. And she just said this here's an exhibition. So there's, I don't know a bunch of stuff. There is some English. I'm gonna read. It's all about teak wood. There's all batik textiles, which I think come from Yogyakarta. But they're really popular here. It is crazy busy. There's a whole crazy dining table.
here too. It's really cool, but there's nothing telling you about anything. The conclusion. It's cool to come see the palace, but you're not going to know anything unless you have a guide. It looks so closed. Because it's being constructed and it's very little bit close and it's a small door. This is puppet making? You see the puppet maker? Oh, still. The puppet maker is the puppet maker. 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 Five days for this one? Maybe, maybe until finish is five days, maybe. Here's all the puppet making. That's the symbol of the sun. It's just in Jogjakarta or all of Indonesia? This one is center Java. All of Java? Jogjakarta is called Jogjakarta. Oh, there's lots of puppets. Huh. And the puppet shows. Nice. What's back here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Puppet making was definitely not part of the palace. He just took me around to all these places. There were cute bookmarks. So I asked how much for a bookmark. And he said, 100,000 for a tiny little bookmark. I don't know. Everyone else was like stuck there. So I'm trying to go to the water palace, which is close to here. There's so many horses. <laughs> Cute. I want a horse. <laughs> For the water palace, Taman Sari. How much is it? Foreigner, 25,000. That's not bad, actually. All right, 25,000 again. She said the underground mosque is closed. Hmm. There is the entrance. Ooh. America? <laughs> Hello. It's so pretty. Hello. Wow. This is Tamansari or the water palace, which I guess is where the Sultan used to, like him and his family could bathe and stuff. And I also read it's where he would like search for new wives. <laughs> so he would come here and all the girls would be bathing in the pools and he would pick another wife. It's so pretty here though. And it's like not that far from the palace. You can just walk between the two. So I wanna see what's over here. There's a view. It's so nice. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna leave here and head to the next big square, which is next to here and also a nighttime place. But I'm gonna check it out now during the day and then go eat and chill somewhere and come back at night. Oh my God, this is the place to take pictures. You can't walk anywhere. Everyone's taking a picture. Yeah, cute. There's so many super cute alleys here and like street art. Like, look at this. There's this tiny little alley and all this cool graffiti. I don't even know where I am. I'm just walking. <laughs> and more. Oh, here. Ulan Ulan Kito. Oh, there's a sign. Alun Alun Kidol, another park, which there's no one here right now, but apparently at nighttime it's crazy. So I want to come back and see this later tonight. You can see, no one right now. Here's where I wanted to come, to the gate, because you can go on top, and it's closed. Both sides are closed. Aww. I wanted to go up there. I walked the whole way here, and I can't go up. 
So I'm going to go down to the hipster street for lunch, but I don't know how to walk under this bridge. I'm scared. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my God. Oh, I made it. I'm walking on the main street and it's kind of boring, but there's this really cool looking alley covered in graffiti. I think I'm going to go down there if I can cross the road. Look at that. It looks like it would be cute, but I hate crossing the road. Ah! Um, I made it. Oh. All right. Oh, it's just right here. Still, so cute. Huh. And at least it's shady here. It's cooler than like the main road. <laughs> the jog is known as like a really artsy place. So these are all the streets I wanted to see. Where you just walk around little alleys and there's street art everywhere. There's more. And more. It's so cute. And there's no people back here. So it's really chill and shady. Even here, the plants are so nice. Plants, more art. Funky something. Oh, there's a big alley. Look at this. So much art. That's not the way I want to go to this cafe street, though. So I'm going to keep going this way. Oh, there's a breeze. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice everywhere. Times I've stranded, a castaway, and I'm now sure of no stranger in this garden. I'm always in blue for you, always in blue, always in blue for you. Almost at the entrance of Pra Wiro Taman Street, which is supposed to be like a hipstery area. Like there's lots of hostels and bars and restaurants. So I'm gonna try and get something to eat there. But I also haven't been yet, and it looks really cute. From here, I see the entrance. Pra Wiro Taman. Yeah, you see already beer signs? I guess this is where all the bars are in Jog Jakarta. Because where I'm staying, there is nothing. But here I've already passed like two places selling alcohol. We stopped at the Cafe Via Via, which is like one of the most popular ones here on this road. And it's so cute. There's graffiti on the walls. He's cute. So cute. We got an amazing falafel pita with salad and fries and cute views. There was like 85,000 for the falafel and fries, which like isn't bad considering how touristy it is. Now I'm walking on this alley right next to there. Um, it's two hours until sunset. So I'll just walk around here because these alleys are so cute. So I'm the whole way down still on Prawero Taman and it's still too early for like nighttime activity so stop for a drink. This cute place. And then hopefully the sun should set soon and then I can go check out the nighttime stuff. First bay chalk. <laughs> Oh, America! Oh, America! Thank you. <laughs> no. Here, uh, three weeks. Adul, adul, kido. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, alun, alun kido. At night time. Yeah. And then we'll see. This is what I want to do. It's so funny. There's literally kids on the roof, that's crazy. <laughs> 
and it's a bicycle like you can see the dad pushing the bike like if you imagine this compared to how i was here earlier like earlier there were literally zero people here and now there are five million people just sitting in the grass it's insane here goes my driver and this i really want to do this it's so crazy but literally i cannot believe how many people are here in the square this is insane compared to how it was earlier there was no one i don't even know what to do because there's so many people i'm just gonna come here and like sit and chill for a minute all right here so basically everyone's sitting out here and just like eating street food and chilling there's a bunch of kids with like things that they're throwing up in the air that of course now you can't see any but there are i promise and there's like a million people driving these crazy cars with lights around which i really want to do i don't know if i can do it by myself though i might go ask because it's like a bicycle it's not a car you have to like pedal cars there's like a two-person car maybe I can drive a two-person car by myself I don't know down here there's some like V dubs that are obviously for like a lot of people I can't do that but this little weird one that could be fun by myself <laughs> I'm trying to get a small car he said 14,000 I don't know I'm sitting here on a stool waiting to see if there's a car for me he said, I said, I'm just one person. He said, okay, sit. archery here at the park <laughs> and here's even more cars Natalie Merry Christmas Merry Christmas it's always Christmas Natalie uh, Natalie Natalie Christmas okay street <laughs> the same thing I walked down this morning it's a one-way street so now I can't take a bay truck back to where I came from I just have to walk but it's like totally different vibes than it was this morning so I don't mind walking really so you can see everything it's just I don't know it's so crazy it is so 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 busy here and so smoky like oh yeah she's cooking food right here yeah, so busy. Oh my. This is nothing like I was expecting. Like the other side of the street, it looks like you can't even walk because it's just so crazy. You literally can't even walk. There's a whole band here. This is amazing.
But yeah, the vibes here are so cool. Like there's so many people out. It's insane. Like I love it. Everyone here too. Like there's so many people. I've never seen like so many people just chilling. I have to get up early tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to try and go to the two famous temples here, which means I have to go to sleep early tonight so I can wake up early tomorrow and try and take the public bus to the temples, which is going to be interesting. But that's the plan tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. Times 